Uh, good morning. Um, as a result of uh, actions by Task Force victim, a 35-year-old Auckenflower man has been arrested for the uh, offence of uh, attempted murder in relation to the cowardly act against uh, one of society's most vulnerable, and that being the homeless, uh, which occurred on uh, Sunday last. Uh, the media and the public played a great role in uh, achieving this result. Uh, we got a lot of information uh, through the public and in particular Crime Stoppers and uh, that information has led us to a location where we're able to uh, identify a person and subsequently an arrest has taken place and the man has uh, appeared in court this morning. As you would be aware the matter is now before the court and uh, I'm limited as to what information I can provide from that point. Happy to take questions. Was his um, bow and arrow uh, found <coughs> or identified prior to finding him? The uh, arrows were identified. The particular type of arrow was identified and uh, from that information we were able to piece together um, and identify the, the offender um, in this um, manner. Was it a particularly rare type of arrow or something like that? No, it wasn't a particularly rare type of arrow, but it was an arrow that we were able to identify the, the, the distributors here in Queensland and from that we were able to track the um, um, track the offender, yeah. A big, big sort of arrow or a smaller one? Or? I don't exactly know the, I, I don't exactly know the particular type of arrow it is, but uh, it was a practice arrow that he had purchased. Where on the body was the victim shot? Look, as we said, the matter's now before the court. There are issues we just can't discuss. Are you able to update us on his condition at all? Uh, he... Uh, he um, is about to be released, I understand, from hospital. Can you tell us how um, you took the um, accused into custody, where he was and that sort of thing? How? Again, the matters before court uh, suffice to say that uh, we uh, searched a premises in the uh, Auckland Flower area and from that point onwards that person was in that premise was taken into custody. And was the bow found there as well at the premises? Uh, yes, the bow was found. Can you say whether the accused gave a statement to police? Hey. Matters before the court, as I said. Is he known to police? Uh, he wasn't before that, this, no. What sort of information um, did the public come forward that really helped in this investigation? Uh, through Crime Stoppers and also direct phone calls to the task force itself, um, the public um, provided a number of um, leads in relation to um, possible suspects and from those suspects um, different persons of interest were identified or either eliminated or as in the case of the offender he was identified and, and as a result of a search warrant and a search of a premises, um, you know, the evidence that was required to put him before the courts was... Um, located. Was that a bicycle? Was there one found at the home? Sorry? Bicycle? Was there a bicycle found that was searched? Uh, there was a bicycle identified and a, and a helmet, yes. Any indication as to why? Yeah, let's say anything about that. Again, that's before the court. And task force victim, was that set up directly in relation to this incident or is it a wider sort of operation? The task force was established for the purpose of this investigation. There's a com combination of resources from Metro North Region and State Crime Operations Command. Can you answer if the pair had met previously or had they seen each other previously? Was there some sort of altercation previously or this is just completely random and unprovoked? These are matters that will be determined uh, during the court process. Is the, the victim mentally a few days on? How's he coping? I can't really comment on that. Is it, is it, did he regularly sleep um, where, where he was allegedly targeted? Yes, he did, but uh, yeah, he did. Any idea how long he's, um, he's been homeless for? No, we don't. 
a lot of the information that came in from Christ Office identified that he was known by people who frequented the pathway and uh, they knew him and um, didn't know him to have ever caused any trouble. Or Generally speaking, uh, how often do police come across uh, violence uh, perpetrated against homeless people? It's probably not th that often. Uh, it's a matter of whether they are reported, but certainly something this serious is very concerning. And hence the uh, immediate response from the Queensland Police Service in terms of forming a task force uh, of detectives to concentrate on that job specifically to identify the person responsible. How many detectives in this task force? Uh, on a, at any one occasion, there would have been 16 detectives um, working on any one shift. How pleased are you to have someone before the courts on this one so quickly? Uh, very pleased. Uh, obviously, when you look at the type of offence that it's occurred, uh, it's very concerning. As I said before, it's a cowardly act against someone that's very vulnerable. And uh, I'm sure the community would be uh, quite... Uh, happy that uh, someone as dangerous as this individual is now off the streets. Any idea of, of the victim, um, what his intentions are upon being released from hospital? No. Does the accused have a military background? Uh, I don't know. No, don't know. Was the victim um, <coughs> staying, was he, sorry, in the Royal Brisbane Hospital? Ah, uh, yes. Um, just back to the military background, did he have any sort of training in um, using a bow and arrow? Look, these are matters that will be discussed in court process, so we're not going to engage in that type of dialogue. Did the accused live alone? The accused, yes. Okay. Sister Commissioner, I understand this is your last day at Climops. Any highs and lows you'd like to share with us before you head off? Uh, well, it's. Uh, Actually, the 24th of June, I commence as the new Assistant Commissioner of the Central Region. I'm looking forward to the challenge. I've been with State Crime Operations Command for 11 years. The highlight of that was um, six and a half years in charge of the Homicide Squad. Uh, a fantastic group of um, professionals who work very hard to make the community of Queensland safer and work in partnership with the regional police. We've had some highlights, we've had some low uh, times, but in the end of the day, we work together with the community and the media, I might say, uh, to uh, solve a lot of very serious crime and rid society of some of the most dangerous individuals that we've seen walk the streets for many a decade. Mr. It's your name that's on the, uh, <coughs> the application to have the Finks declared a criminal organisation. Will you continue involvement with that? Absolutely. Okay, nothing Thank else? Thank you very much. Thank you.